This is Change My Heart, O oh God, in the key of G. Hope you love this simplified version. Make sure to stop the video, click on the description below, and I do have the chord sheet that you can print out and follow along with me. Okay, so let's take a look at the chords that are in this song. It's a little bit more complex than most of the songs that I teach, but stay with me, I got you covered. All right, so let's go through them. We have G, D, A, A minor, E minor, B, and B minor. Woo, let's do it, okay? All right, so the G chord, let's play here. Um, G, B, D makes up a G chord. Here's F right by these three black notes, and G is right next door, okay? Could be a little landmark note for you. Okay, G chord. Then we have D, F sharp, A makes up our D major chord. A landmark would be by the two black notes, you're gonna find the C note, D, okay? And this makes a triangle shape, okay? If that helps you with shapes. White, black, white, okay? Then we have our A chord, A, C sharp, E, another triangle shape, okay? So that is our three major chords. Uh, let's look at B major, I guess. B, D sharp, F sharp. And it kind of makes this curve line, okay? Hang in there, you're doing good. <laughs> uh, let's go, um, let's do the minors now. So we have E minor, which is E, G, B, and A minor, A, C, E, and then our B minor, which is B, D, F sharp. Okay, so don't confuse that with the B right there, and then the B minor is right here. Okay, all right, so let's review those chords. We have G, D, A, okay, then let's do our three minors. We have A minor, uh, B minor, and E minor. So go back to those. If you just need to map those out in your hands, that might take a little bit of time just to kind of get those chords in your hands, okay? All right, left hand is gonna be playing single notes. We're gonna play single, single notes just really simply in the left hand. So when we play a G in our right hand, we're gonna play G single note. And you could play G here if you want, or you could play G chord down here. There's so much flexibility when it comes to chording. So do what feels comfortable for you. Okay, so here's a G single note with our G chord, okay? When we play that A major, you can play, um, I'm trying to think what I'm gonna be cutting off of. So I might do the A there, and then A with the bass, single note, okay? And then um, D with D, okay, then our minors, we got that B minor, well, B to B, I guess that's B major. B minor, still playing this B single note, and then E minor. All right, so the rhythm that we're gonna do to bring the two hands together, this is a song that's written in four, four times. So I'm gonna do a rhythm I call together right or a one to two ratio. Together, right, together, right, together, right, together, right. Okay, and you can just get that rhythm, practice that anywhere on the keyboard. You can move to the A minor. Practicing that together, right, together, through just the bit of chorus one so you can see how it sounds when we add in some vocals and like I said you might see me playing a G here you might feel more comfortable playing it up here um, you need to find so much flexibility in your music don't be locked into what I do or what I say is the root or <laughs> uh, it's the end all you know you can you can have so much flexibility and fun with it okay so let's break that up into some steps so we have G chord starting us out and we're just doing this change my and then I'm gonna play E minor and I'm gonna move my thumb open here see my left hand I'm just pivoting this open to reach this sixth note right here we're just like all five notes are in in a pattern there I'm just opening this to play the E minor don't move your hand all over that's going to get you confused of where you're at okay so here's that G change my open the thumb heart oh. there's that E minor and we move to the A minor God, D 
chord. Make it ever true is on G. True. to the verse there and we're going to pivot into that B chord which is the trickier of the chords we play it's kind of this curved line B you are the E minor Potter. A minor I D chord and the clay G again. Mold me and E minor. Make me. Here's that A triangle. Here we go. This is that chord with A in the bass. This is what I pray. And D triangle ends that verse. Pray. Let's repeat that verse again. B. Because sometimes when we get too overwhelmed, we think, oh my gosh, there's six chords in this song. What am I going to do? I can't do it and I'm going to quit. No, bear with me here. So the chorus one and two are the exact same. So that's two thirds of the song <laughs> being done because it's just, I just had it on there an extra time for you. But if you look at the first and the third line, just like poems, they kind of repeat themselves or maybe the first and the third line rhyme. Look at that. The first line with your chord sheet that you've printed out. The first line and the third line are G, E minor, A minor. Look at that third line, G, E minor, A minor, okay? Second and fourth line are the same as well, D, G. Fourth line, D, G, okay? Let's take a look at the verse. We have B, E minor. Uh-oh, look at that pattern. Third line is B, E minor, okay? Then that second and fourth line are very similar. You have the A minor, D, G, and then on the fourth line, you just have A, D. Okay, so there's a little bit of difference with the verse. That's what makes probably that one the more complex one. But if you just focus on playing right hand only by itself, if bringing the two hands together is too complex. And then I even suggest maybe just block chording through it and don't work on the rhythm, just playing through the chords so your hands get used to where your position is, okay? Um, I'm going to play it beginning to end. You can go back to the beginning if you need some help kind of lining out those chords, figuring out where they are. Um, I believe in you. You could do this one. Um, have a heart of worship and just worship Jesus while you make mistakes even. You're doing you're gonna do great. Change my heart, oh God. Make it ever true. Change my
change my heart